Right off the bat, I do want to apologize. Yes, this is an April Fool's video, uh, and I know I said I wasn't going to be making Arcade One Up content anymore, but keep in mind, this is my channel, and I can do pretty much whatever I want. So if you are easily triggered, this is a warning. You may want to stop the video and just go watch something else. Now, maybe some other Arcade One Up content that's very positive. So there is your warning. You're still here? Go home. But while I got you here, I did want to briefly talk about Arcade 1UP and the game that I'm currently playing. So if you're a fan of Arcade 1UP and you follow all the channels that, that cover Arcade 1UP, all the live streams, and whenever there's a most wanted list of games that people want to see released on Arcade 1UP, at the top of the list is always Robotron 2084. The first game that's in the live stream chat, the first comment on every top 10 video, it's always Robotron. And for good reason. For one, because they already have the license. Number two, because the game still holds up incredibly well. This game came out in 1984 and it's quite possibly one of the best high score chasing games of all time. It has that iconic Williams soundtrack and the truly unique dual stick controls with no buttons needed except for one or two players. The left A-way stick controls movement of your character and the right stick is used to shoot in any direction, which is cool because for instance you could be running left but shooting enemies to the right. But the thought of Arcade 1UP releasing this game is almost an April Fool's joke in and of itself. Allow me to explain. So if you're familiar at all playing Robotron 2084, you'll know that calling this game frenetic is an understatement. The game would make even the no swear gamer curse like a sailor. Oh, bitch. The difficulty ramps up very fast and becomes almost claustrophobic, requiring lightning fast reflexes and forces the player to become aggressive with their joysticks. Without even realizing, you find yourself fanatically jerking both sticks around like a porn star at a gangbang. Now, in case you were wondering, I haven't just been playing Robotron on my Multicade. I have spent some time playing the actual arcade machine recently at an arcade in Branson, as well as a couple weeks ago at a convention I was attending in Kansas. So I'm quite familiar with how this game should feel and play. And having owned 1UP fighting games, I know how much these cabinets move just by playing by myself with one joystick. So just imagine how much movement you'll get from a 78 pound cabinet using both sticks aggressively. He's right, you know. The original had a 19 inch monitor, so on a game like this with enemies constantly closing in on you, you would want a 19 inch screen minimum, oh. which unless they made a pro model, RK 1UP won't do, theirs would be a 17 inch. And as far as joysticks go, they're going to take a beating. So stock RK 1UP joysticks just aren't going to cut it. And then there's the weight of the cabinet. My Multicade weighs around 160 pounds, and even I sometimes get the slightest bit of movement from aggressive play. An arcade one up at half that weight will be flopping around like a fish, unless you bolt it to the wall or throw in a couple of sandbags. But doesn't it make you wonder why they haven't released Robotron yet? Is arcade one up aware of all the things that I just mentioned and are afraid to release this one for fear of backlash? I mean, you be the judge. And I'm quite sure that there are plenty of people with modded arcade one-ups running Robotron. But let's be honest, you have to question the enjoyment of that experience. I think the only way arcade one-up could do this game justice is to release an XL or a Pro model. But as we've seen in the past, these Pro models are still severely lacking in quality. While a thousand bucks does get you a 19 inch screen on a larger form factor, it doesn't get you real team molding, quality buttons and sticks, above average speakers, and a marquee that's not washed out. Things you shouldn't have to replace with a thousand plus cabinet calling itself a Pro Series. So my advice to you if you want to play Robotron 2084 and play it the way that it was meant to be played, with dual joysticks, is to play it on a cabinet that is better constructed, with preferably 3 quarter inch MDF versus half inch, something with at least a 19 inch screen that has good quality joysticks and some good speakers, something like an At Games Legends Ultimate or a Multicade if you have one. The controls are very simple to set up in MAME and I guarantee you the experience will be so much more enjoyable than playing it on a 3 quarter scale arcade 1UP. No, you're right, you're not going to get those flashy graphics, but if you're going to pay that kind of money, shouldn't you be playing these games and not just looking at them? Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> 
All right, that's going to do it for this video. Again, apologies for the clickbait thumbnail, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. If so, make sure to hit that thumbs up on the way out. I'm also going to leave links to my previous April Fool's videos in the description if you're interested. I think you'll get a laugh out of those. And, and leave your comments. I'm sure there's going to be some doozies. All right, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next one.